Southend United Football Club, known as the Shrimpers, is now a semi-professional football club. They compete in the National League, which is the fifth tier of English football. The club has been around since 1906, but are now experiencing crippling financial issues and are struggling to stay afloat. So in today's video, we will be discussing the rise and fall of one of England's oldest clubs. So what's going on everyone? You're listening to Back of the Net here. I hope you're all doing well. In Southend on Sea in Essex, England, a football club started in the Blue Boar pub on May 19th, 1906. This group of passionate footballers and businessmen created South End United Football Club. In 1920, South End United joined the Football League's third division, and then the following year, in 1921, they became part of the southern section of the third division until the league eventually restructured in 1958. In the club's early years, they had some close calls with promotion, finishing third in 1932 and in 1950. And in 1958, when the league restructured, South End United began their participation in the new national third division, a move that remained in place until 1966 when they suffered their first ever relegation putting them in the 4th Division of English Football. After six seasons in the 4th Division, 1972 saw the club's first ever promotion as runners-up in the 4th Division. The following years had tons of ups and downs, including relegations in 1976 and in 1918. But the early 1980s brought glory as they secured the 4th Division Championship in 1981 setting many club records along the way. The mid-1980s, however, saw Southend United face relegation to the 4th Division, again avoiding re-election to the Football League in 1985. Yet, they bounced back, clinching promotion again in 1987. This roller coaster continued with another relegation, but the early 90s marked a golden era for the club. They had successive promotions in 1990 and in 1991, which took them to the second division of English football, where they finished 12th in their debut season. Management's changes followed for the Shrimpers, where in 1995, former Liverpool player Ronnie Whelan took on the role of player manager. Despite a respectable 14th place finish in Division 1 in his first season with the club, they got relegated just a year later. Whelan left Southend, winning a case for wrongful dismissal, and the managerial changes continued, and stability was really, really hard to find for Southend United. In November 1998, property developer Ron Martin and Delancey Estates gained control of Southend United, acquiring the club and the stadium, which is Roots Hall, for just four million pounds. Their plan was to continue redevelopment of the club and eventually move South End United to a 16,000 seat stadium. South End United reached their first National Cup final, facing Blackpool in the final of the Football League trophy in Cardiff. Despite the roar of over 20,000 South End fans, the team lost 2-0. Southend then achieved promotion to League One in 2005 and in 2006 they became League One champions which clinched their first title for 25 years. However, the club's fortunes took a downturn in the 2006-07 season marked by a long winless streak in the league. Despite this though, they had a historic win over Premier League champions Manchester United in the League Cup. Sadly, South End United slipped back into League One, getting relegated from the Championship. They finished 6th in League One at the end of the 2007-08 season, entering the playoffs but falling short. In the 2009-2010 season, a run of just one win, yes, just one win, left South End in deep trouble and they were eventually also relegated to League Two. This season also marked 
by financial difficulties, including some unpaid tax bills. Financial struggles continued to plague the club, leading to protests from fans and struggles to meet financial obligations that the club had. Ownership changes and management shifts added to the club's instability. Despite some brief moments of success on the pitch, South End United's financial problems kept persisting. In July 2010, Paul Sturrock took the reins as manager. The club mounted a serious challenge in League Two during the 2011-2012 season. They spent 11 weeks at the top of the table before entering the playoffs. But South End United lost in the playoff semi-final, leaving them in League Two for another season. League form saw highs and lows in the following years. South End United faced difficulties but also enjoyed successes, including getting promoted back to League One and reaching the final of the Football League trophy. The club stayed in League One for several years with a near miss on promotion to the championship in 2016-2017 season. In the 2018-2019 season, South End United faced another difficult campaign, finishing 19th and avoiding relegation on just goal difference. This period was marked by their ongoing financial challenges, including the loss of EFL funding for the club's academy. The following season, South End United would face relegation to go into the National League. The year 2020 brought further financial difficulties to South End United made worse by the pandemic, of course. The club faced unpaid wages and transfer embargoes, among many other things. Despite these challenges, South End United continued to compete in the National League. The financial turmoil persisted in 2021 with unpaid bills and late payments to players and staff. Supporters voiced their concerns and the club's financial stability remained suspect to say the least. In 2023, the club was placed under a transfer embargo due to missed payments. Negotiations for the sale of the club has continued with various parties expressing interest. However, financial constraints and ongoing debt issues remain a significant hurdle for the club. Despite fans' efforts to support the club through volunteering and even financial aid, South End United face a uncertain future. On March 17, 2023, the club started a formal process to explore the sale of the club or just look for new investment partnerships. But various obstacles, including stadium ownership and unpaid debts, has just complicated the wholesale process. The club's future hangs in the balance as fans, sponsors and potential investors look for solutions to secure the club's survival. As of right now, South End United remain under huge financial stress. The club's journey, which was once about the triumphs and the setbacks of English football on the pitch, has now been all about the battle for its very existence. You've got to feel for the fans. They've been through so much as of late and I think all they want to see is just some sort of stability in the club. I truly hope that South End United recover from all this and maybe one day can make it back to the championship and experience glory once again. So with all this being said, I would love to know if you guys see a way for South End United to make it out of this tough spot that they currently find themselves in. And I'll see you guys in the next one.